That's a nickname. Mm -hmm. I used to go there every single day as a kid. He had a, a, a variety of candies. I mean, it was like what? Like a, like a, maybe a 50 square foot, you know, room with nothing but penny candies. Boys. And Snickers and potato chips. Nice. And pop. Because going to Stash was kind of like, it was your way out. Like, mm -hmm. if you if you wanted to talk to a friend and you really didn't have time because adults were around or whatever, yeah. so you'd say, hey, I'm gonna run this store, I gotta tell you about this. When I was a little kid, my dad used to smoke cigarettes, but he he would send me to go buy them. He wouldn't like to go, I don't know if he was tired or whatever, so he used to make me go buy him cigarettes, and he'd give me the money, he'd give me like exact you know change or whatever. Yeah. And he would always put them in a paper bag and like wrap it up so that nobody sees me walking out, you know, like sees a, Six or seven year old walking out of the little candy store with some cigarettes. Right. And, and like, this is another thing. Sometimes I remember being in there for like five minutes looking around and nobody stops me in the back room, so we're probably sleeping. And it's like you walk in the store, you waiting for like five, ten minutes. You even picked out all your candy. I mean, you could literally <laughs> walk in there and steal shit and walk back out. There ain't no cameras or nothing. You know? <laughs> so it's like, but nobody ever steals from Stars. Yeah. Nobody would ever steal from Stars, you know? So, no so, kids ever tried to steal from you? A eh, couple of kids, we don't want to worry about, you know, what are they, what are they going to steal, a bag of chips? Yeah. <laughs> I never stole a stop. I was tempted a couple of times, don't get me wrong. Like I said, he had you sitting there waiting for like five, ten minutes for your damn candy. I, I like got it 75 cents, all I want is a bag of chips and a pop, you know? Yeah. And I'm sitting there waiting for like five, ten minutes. But it stops, you want stops time, you know? One person dropped a Seven Up bottle. Mm -hmm. There was a cooler back over here, and it was it was just a small area. Maybe yeah. like three or four people could fit behind each other. Yeah. And he dropped it and he broke it because they were glass, you know. Yeah. And he was mad. He was like, you know what? Everybody out! Everybody out! And <laughs> we all had, we were like, damn, what the hell? I mean, you couldn't even complain. And then I think like maybe an hour later, after he cooled off, he'd open up again. Yeah, my favorite candy had to have been. Uh, uh, pals, bubblegum. <laughs> Why is it? Yeah, because it was only a cent. <laughs> I could walk away with 25 in a brown paper bag. <laughs> and I was set for the whole day. <laughs> the Lower West Side of Chicago. Home for many of the immigrants that came to work in the new city for a better life to work in stockyards, factories, railroads, and power plants. Pilsen which is known as the Windy City's heart and soul of the vibrant Mexican-American community. It also has a long tradition of strong working-class ethnic people. I was born in the neighborhood. I was Are you born, born on 18th at the, uh, 1854 West 18th Street. I was born in that, in that house, still learning it. Right. Well, that's why I stayed in the neighborhood. I don't want anyone in the neighborhood. Cause we bought this house, my mother bought this house in 1948, uh, 47, and then we opened up a store in 48. We had Polish, we had Croatian, and Bohemian. Mm -hmm. um, you know, here. But then the first Mexican that came here from Cardina, from uh, Roosevelt, in 1960. A Polish neighborhood. We were okay. like one of two or three Latino families in the neighborhood. I still understand Polish, okay. but uh, my mother learned how to talk English in the story. My own son. Okay. And I remember I potty trained him, and the moment that he finally scored in the bathroom, 
I, his reward was to go to Stash. <laughs> and his eyes lit up. This was my mom's first job here in the store. Yeah. Oh, yeah. She would come in on Sundays and they would pay her in candy. <laughs> oh, wow, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. she has a lot of stories. Yeah. Okay. I just think, um, as a kid, I mean, I love, we loved coming in here, and we would sit on the front porch, actually, and it was great to tell, I mean, none of my friends had ever heard of the candy shop anymore, um, <laughs> and, and so they thought I was the coolest. What's your greatest memory of owning the candy store? You remember? Everything. <laughs> yeah? Just knowing the family. talk, I like to talk to everybody, I like to, you know, we always sit down, or something, somebody come like a hat. We always talk about this, what happened here, I said, watch yourself and all that, and that's it. Done. But otherwise, it's, uh, it's not bad at all. I, I never had trouble. Now you forget about the candy store, you know, any small business out. You got to keep moving, you got to, just to keep yourself busy. That's the way you got to do that, otherwise, if you're just looking at the wall, you're not going to last it, because I've... I hit I hit 84 years old. Oh wow! Congratulations. <laughs> I, they come back and say, "Hey, Stott, you still here yet?" Yeah. <laughs> I said, "Yeah." I said, "What's wrong?" With How come there aren't any many uh, candy stores? Because anymore? because they couldn't complete with me. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Yeah. 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 Even like in the even my old my Polish people, they go put a store in there and all that, and uh, she's beautiful and all that, it still came by me yet. Yeah. I never had trouble with it. No? Never had no problem. My business was good until the dollar stores killed me. Wow. The dollar, there used to be a lot of stores here. There used to be, years before, it was a grocery store. No. It was a butcher, it's a butcher. So the candy, it's a candy store. And then we had a, a, a like a undertaker here, there was an undertaker on that's all gone. Everything is big change, you know. Here, I can mention all the arm tickers used to be on a team sheet. Stash, there's Stash. That's a nickname. Oh, My first Stash. name is Stanley, but it, <laughs> it's Stash. I had since I was born. Okay. Well, you can A lot of times I would bribe you, I'd be like, go pick up all your toys and go do this and go do that. And we go to Statch and you're like, Statch? Yeah. Like, yeah, Statch. Oh, so you knew yeah. that, you know, if you help me clean and if you found whatever money in the couches or under whatever, yeah. under the rug. We get treated too. That's right, that's right. Yeah. So you guys were my little, so I had Sergio here and I had George right there. And we're going to Statch. You guys used to skip, you know? Like, <laughs> <laughs> give him a little, you know, you give him a hard time. You in there, like, oh, how much is this, bro? You know, how much is that, Stop. How much for this? How much I owe you, Stop. Ah, kid, kid, you gonna buy something or not, kid? You, 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 you bother me, kid, you bother me. Come on, come on, kid, come on, come on. Like, you walk in there to this day, and they got these greeting cards in there, and they're like so old, I'm afraid to open one of those greeting cards, because I'm afraid it's like, like, like the Dead Sea Scrolls are just gonna just sit there and just disintegrate in my hands, dude. <laughs>